Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So I'm filming on my phone at the moment because my camera is kaput. I dropped it. I might get a new one and sell the old one. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Need to see what the money situation's like. Um, Biggie is here being a massive pain. He just wants all the fuss you see. Um, I'm currently reading Hearts in Atlantis by Stephen King. I'm about 100 odd pages, 110 pages maybe from the end. So uh, hopefully going to finish that today. And then next up, I reckon I'm probably going to pick up some, some Agatha Christie because I've got quite a lot of that to get through. So that is where we are at. Alright, so I'm currently watching um, Jack Septicai play The Last of Us. I think he's nearly reached the end now. Biggie's here. He wants to say hello. Uh, I have as good as finished... Um, um, Hearts in Atlantis by Stephen King I have like 12 pages to go I have this much of this hardback left to go so then I've got a couple of Ladybird books that I want to tick off and then I'm really spoiled for choice because I've got a bunch of F. Scott Fitzgerald a bunch of Agatha Christie and a bunch of Isaac Asimov from where I've been buying these um, job lots of books um, in many cases to sell them on I mean I'm just looking now my eBay store if every item I had sold I'd take in £5,947.65, pence, yeah, whatever, uh, and there's 956 items, some of them in multiple stock as well. I think that's about it, I think that's about it actually. So I'm going to finish that, read these Ladybird books, and I'll probably read an Agatha Christie next, I think. Uh, Wired have done a video of every job that Homer Simpson has ever had. So I'm, I'm currently 17 minutes in and it looks like I'm about a third of the way in. I didn't even notice I've been watching it for that long. Um, yes. Okay. So I've realised we have a bit of a cock up. Um, I've edited, I edited a 55 minute long version of my last vlog uh, with all my stuff from Tamworth in it. Basically the footage got corrupted. So that vlog can't happen. So basically out of respect for this missing vlog, this 55 minutes, I'm really kind of sad because at least I got some photos, which brings me on to the next bit. But um, yeah, it's a shame this vlog's missing from my visit to Tamworth. So I'm going to, to recognise the fact that we've missed a video. Um, and here now I'm going to put some photos. I got a little mini slideshow of my photos. So today is Tuesday the 30th of June. Uh, I was at the art centre earlier for a meeting. That went pretty well. They seem quite happy with what I've been doing. Been hard at work. I went for my walk earlier. Um, I've been doing some reading, uh, which I'm going to wrap you up on in a second. And um, yeah, it's been what it is. Um, been working on my cleaning my house. It's pretty vile in here, to be honest, but my bedroom's done now. So I've just got to finish doing in here, the kitchen, the porch and the bathroom, basically. Um, so many jobs on at the moment. It is ridiculous, but we're getting there. I'm currently reading Asimov's Extraterrestrials and very much enjoying it. Um, and I've read, I finished reading um, Hearts in Atlantis too. So full review of that coming soon. And I read a few Ladybird books, which I'm just gonna film as part of me wrap up now. Um, tonight, the art show, my radio show went out, um, seems to have gone okay. And uh, I filmed, uh, sorry, I recorded an interview with Charlie Heathcote this afternoon. So he's going to be next week's guest as well. 
So then I need to start thinking about the, the guest the week after that. Mm. And I need to finish editing and recording that show. Woo! So much to do. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I'm just watching YouTube. Oh, I actually should remember to wrap that up. I listened to an audio book of um, what I talk about when I talk about running by Hariki Murakami. I've actually previously read it, but I reread it via audio. Uh, it's actually my July book for rereadathon, but I got to it in advance because I'm running out of stuff to watch. So I've got this some, some stuff in my YouTube playlist. And then I think I did find something on Netflix. Oh, there's, an, there's new episodes or a new series or whatever of Mock the Week, so I'll probably watch that later. And I think in my Watch Later playlist, there's the last episode of Jacksepticeye doing The Last of Us 2. So then I'll have watched him complete that. I also have my new laptop here, right? My new, my new ASOS laptop. It's very nice. I've not even booted it up yet. And it arrived, arrived on Saturday, I think. Was it Saturday? Or maybe Monday. It might have been yesterday. I don't know. But I haven't had a chance to boot it up because what with one thing and another. Um, so I'm going to do that later, hopefully, as well. Cool. Oh, and I've been editing my book. I've been editing me, and that's almost ready to go. I've had two of the three interior bits um, from my interior designer done. My cover design's now done. And then it goes back to Pam, my editor, for a third and final round of editing. And then comes back to me, and then I publish it. So, yeah. Hello, it is Wednesday, the 1st of July. That's how good we're doing. I went to bed at 6 a.m. I think today. Go up at like 1. I don't actually remember. Um, yeah, I had a fairly productive day. I did my walk uh, and then um, <laughs> I had a friend come around, Astra. Um, she may be watching this because at the moment I'm sending the clips that I vlogged to myself through WhatsApp via her because I have no other way of doing it, because I lost my, well, I didn't lose, I broke my camera, or it stopped working. Um, and for some reason, if I upload videos from my phone via Dropbox, they upload, and they're the right file size, but they just don't play. And if I plug my phone into my computer, it doesn't recognize it as a device. Speaking of nothing working properly, the uh, video just randomly cut out, I have no idea why. Who knows? Uh, I'm still reading Asimov's Extraterrestrials by Isaac Asimov, but I'm right at the end. I'm literally like five pages from the end. Um, and then I have over here, Third Girl by Agatha Christie, which I'm probably going to read next. Um, for the, To be honest, this month I'm mostly going to be alternating between Agatha Christie, Isaac Asimov and F. Scott Fitzgerald, because they're who make up the majority of my current TBR list. Um, although I may mix things up every now and then. We'll see. So that's where we're at, um, just being productive. I finally finished cleaning my house. I made a very delicious uh, vegan mac and cheese, jalapeno mac and cheese earlier. So I've had, a, I've had two bowls of that now. Uh, I still haven't smoked, so I'm coming up to two days, 18 hours or something like that. Oh, and I've been investing in shares as well. I've made about four pounds um, buying shares in like Beyond Burger. And I got some in Tesla. And then the day after I bought shares in Tesla, um, it hit its highest share valuation in its history because they're probably about to break even. So that's good. And um, yeah, I just plan to do that with a bit of cash because I've got a bit of cash going spare because I've been doing so much work recently. So it makes sense to reinvest it. If I can make it work harder and make some more money out of it. That's what I did with Bitcoin um, when the Bitcoin explosion happened. Uh, or cryptocurrency because I was buying Ethereum and I can't even remember what the third one that I was buying. I was buying some of another one as well. Litecoin, I think it was, that I was getting. Um, and yeah, I bought just in time and then there was for about six months, they just kind of constantly rose. So I think by the end of that, I'd made like 130% on it or something. You know, money makes money. It's weird, isn't it? It's like if I had £100,000, I could probably buy a house or a flat or something and rent it out, you know? Maybe something to think about. <laughs> something to work towards. I could buy a house and live in it as well, you know, but. I cut my finger making me magic ukulele. Where have I got a stand? And will my cable stretch? Church on Sunday, don't get on my knees to pray. The 
memorize the books of the Bible. I got my own special way. Well, I know that Jesus loves me. Maybe just a little bit more. I fall down on my knees every Sunday. At the real to leaves can be store And it's gotta be a chocolate Jesus Makes me feel good inside It's gotta be a chocolate Jesus If you wanna keep me satisfied Well, I don't want no Abba Zabba Don't want no almond joy There ain't nothing better Suitable for this boy Now don't look to us Phony Beatlemania has bitten the dust London calling See we ain't got no swing Except for that ring That truncheon thing The ice age is coming The sun's zooming in Engines stop running The wheat is growing thin A nuclear era But I have no fear Cause London is drowning And I live by the river Hello, it is Friday the 3rd of July, so all my American friends are celebrating July the 4th. Uh, I've got some work done today, I still have a decent, well I always have stuff to do, you know. Um, I've been building my electric ukuleles, so I'd already put a pickup in one, but it only detects steel strings. And unfortunately that's the one that isn't strong enough to withstand steel strings. So now I do have one steel string and one nylon string, both of them built pickups. I shared some footage of those probably earlier. My WhatsApp is pinging, there we go. Uh, reading wise, I've been cracking on with Agatha Christie. I still haven't smoked as well, that's always good. Uh, Third Girl, I've been reading this. I have like 10 pages left, so I will finish this today. And then I don't know what to read next because I've got a ton of Agatha Christie. I might, I don't know. I've got some Asimov, I might read some Asimov. But some of the Asimov I've got is quite thick. I don't know, because of reading Christie, I don't really want to read another Christie. So I've got loads of Asimov, F. Scott Fitzgerald and Christie to work through. Maybe I'll give some F. Scott Fitzgerald a go, actually. Um, so I'll probably be alternating between a bunch of those. Uh, I've got nothing left to watch, so I'm just currently sitting here listening to music, getting some stuff done, as you do. Um, just trying to... Well, I've made quite a mess doing the ukuleles, like the floor... I mean, I've I've actually been I've been, been gouging bits of wood out, you know. I cut all my fingers. I've got a plaster on here because I I chopped the tip of my finger off with this. Uh, it wasn't my fault. I will uh, point that out because I was cutting very safely, and then the blade snapped, flew through the air, and sliced the top of my finger off. So I'm glad it went for my finger and not my eye, really. Um, but yeah, well, it's also because I got these from like a pound shop, right? And you're supposed to be able to lock them. Because otherwise they just slide up and down. So like if I was to cut something with this now and put any pressure on, the blade would just go. And there's a thing that's meant to lock them. It does go here. I couldn't get it to work. And then when I was trying to get it to work, you'd ended up snapping off. So I'm having to do all of the cutting, like holding this like this as well to make sure that it doesn't move. Oh, it was a bit of a nightmare. So in the end, I just ended up using a screwdriver to poke some holes in it. And then a pair of scissors or attach a plaster for some, well, because I'm covered in fucking plasters, to then cut it all out. So it means that all over my living room, there are little chunks of wood like this. <laughs> so yes, but at least they're done. I mean, they're over there at the moment. They're actually drying because I'm gluing the pickups and whatnot that I installed. I'm gluing them into place. Um, you screw them as well, but I wanted to glue them too for some extra security. Oh, and I got these strap lock things that I use on all my other guitars. And basically they have this thing on the end here that you're meant to pull and there's like an interior Little interior system here. So you pull it up and then it unlocks it and then you can take it off and that's just snapped off Here we go. Here's the bit. It's meant to still be attached So now I'm gonna have to message the eBay guy, but I'm sure he's gonna be fine with it purely because I bought Well, I bought one for each set, set of my guitars. So yeah, I bought seven of these from him now so you know I'm only saying one of one, like one half of one pair broke. And he'll probably send me to like a full set, which would still leave me with one spare that I can do fuck all with anyway. I'll just give it to Dave, I suppose. 
so that's where we're at. I might do some recording later, we'll see. Um, I can't currently play my acoustic because I was restringing it and one of the strings snapped while I was restringing it. So I've ordered a new set, but in the meantime, until they come, I can't really do anything, which is annoying because I, this evening I kind of want to do some recording because we've got the Ilky P to finish off. Uh, me and my friend Dave, we have a YouTube channel as well, linked below. Um, so I need to record like three of my songs for that. And I was going to do that today because I know at least one of them is going to be um, lean down on me because Dave wants to do that. Yeah, I'll show you my ukes now. Here we go. So you can see the glue here is just drying. In fact, I need to see, look here. The paper put a bit too much glue on this, so we want to get some of that off because otherwise it's going to, oh no. Okay, hang on, I need both hands. All right, that's a little better. I mean, theoretically, it's supposed to glue transparently anyway, so you can kind of see there where it's started to go clear. And uh, like there, that was glued in and you can't really see. I don't know what else. I've got to glue this side, of course, there. There's an so yeah, so as you can see, I've glued that side there. That is the preamp. So, oops, put in here. Oh no, the battery's not in this one. The battery's in this one. I need to order some more the little watch batteries. So yeah, that's an F. It's supposed to be a C. Basically, that's hideously out of tune. But you know, instruments always go straight out of tune when you put new strings on. And uh, I'm not too bothered. I'm going to wait until the glue's dried and then sort it. So then we have this wall of guitars here. So obviously we have my yellow one. That's a bay. She's doing fine. No work needed there. She's got my very cool... Um, this is my very cool rollable capo. So while I'm playing... I've forgotten how it works. So I just move it. Yeah, while I'm playing, I can just... And you can actually move it. I can't remember how you do it. It's easier when you're playing guitar, obviously, but you can move it up there and then that's no capo. So, and then you can just move it back down like that, you see? So it's on sliders, but it's good if you need to change key in a song. So that's cool. Uh, bass, no more work needs to in there. Uh, so that's my classical guitar over there. So I've got some new strings coming for that just to restring it. And I'm gonna give it the old pickup uh, strap locks, plectrum holder, a uh, new strap, and possibly something else, I don't know, new strings and a stand for it actually. And uh, the same for this 12 string over here. And actually you can see here the pegs for it don't match. So I've got these super bling. I've actually got another packet of these to make 12 for the 12 strings, but I've got these gold ones. I think will look pretty cool with the black. So I've got to do that once the strings arrive. And I've got this power supply my keyboard yeah and this is the mess on the floor there's the keyboard through there so next up once all of that stuff arrives i've also got here's my drum kit look it's coming along so i need um i've got a uh hi-hat coming which will go next to that i actually have a second snare drum because i accidentally ordered two so there's one in this box i'm gonna give it to my friend well i'm not gonna give it to dave he's taking it for a tenner out of the money that I own for the ill keepy. So I owe him 50 quid for the guy who's mastering it. So I'm gonna give him, but yeah, I've got my hi-hat coming for that and then my drum kit sorted. And then really there's nothing else that I want for my music collection, apart from maybe a better amp, because I'm just using this crappy amp up there at the moment. It's not, it's not great. <laughs> Hello, it is Saturday. It's actually Saturday afternoon already. It is 20 past four. I went to bed at about three, half three, and slept through until now. I've not been feeling very well. I've been taking this medication to help me quit smoking. Uh, I think it's called like Varaclean or something. What's the trade name? It's called Shampex or Shantex or Shampix or Shantix or something like that. And it works by like, it messes with the things in your brain that are sparked by nicotine. So it basically is meant to take away uh, the physical, like the physical symptoms of a nicotine addiction withdrawal. Um, the only problem is, 
is it also makes, or one of the common side effects is nausea. And when I take it, honestly, I've never felt this ill. In fact, the last time I tried to quit smoking, I was using this medication and I took about a third of it. And then I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, I would rather smoke and die early than feel this ill for this much longer. So now I'm back on that medication. I have enough to go for another 10 days or so, which if I do that, that will take me to two weeks without smoking. Um, unfortunately, before I got to about 11 days without smoking, and that's when I stopped taking them and ended up smoking. So hopefully this time will be good enough. But like my determination is pretty good. Like I don't want to smoke. That was a lie. I do want to smoke, but I don't want to smoke that much. I can stay on top of it, you know. Um, I don't want to spend 15 quid on a pouch of tobacco. Like, that always helps that I quit smoking when I finish the last of my last pouch of tobacco so I don't just have any tobacco lying around. I do have fil uh, filters and Rizzlers just because I haven't got rid of them yet for whatever reason. But my filter, uh, my Rizzlers I'm slowly using as bookmarks. Well, not bookmarks, like tabs for my reviews. So, pubs are open today. I'm very, very strongly considering going to the Rose and Crown round the corner to have my first pub pint for four months. Jesus. Jesus. And I fucking love pubs as well. And the pub there, they have a little dog called Bruce. And I know the landlady and stuff. The only thing is, is I don't want to go too late because I don't want to go when it's getting like proper busy and stuff. So I might go about half five-ish and just have one. I just want to see what the pub experience is like in this new world and um well even then i'm just gonna walk up to it and if it looks busy i'm not gonna go in yeah i should probably do a walk today i don't know i'm beating my, I mean, me and my friend are doing this thing where each time one of us does a walk we get a point you can also get two points for doing a long walk um i don't know how she defines a long walk i know how i define one like if i went to asta that'd be a long one because it's equivalent to one of my normal walks each way and back but um, we're on 4-2, I'm winning at the moment, but she said she might do a long walk today, which would put her on 4-4. Four, four. If I go for a walk today, there's no way that she can tie me unless she does three walks today. I'm currently, oh, I finished reading the Agatha Christie book, Third Girl, review of it coming soon. It was quite a short review because I didn't have much to say, but it was all right. And now I'm reading The Diamond As Big As The Ritz by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which has got sh seven of his short stories in very flappery which is nice i think it's the first um first in the like collected short stories of S f scott scott fitzgerald um and i'm really yeah i really like his writing i've never read anything he's done that's bad so um i'm glad that i'm reading that and um, next i'll probably go back to some agatha christie i have also almost finished the white company which is my bedtime book oh yeah i got from my granddad i need to read this in a bit but i need to do it when i feel okay because it's what he wants me to read at my nan's funeral so, um, because otherwise he was going to get the vicar to do it or whatever. Um, and I said, yeah, no, I'll do it. Um, well, he, my, my mum said maybe I'd do it and then she asked me, so I said, yeah. So, yeah, in terms of why I feel ill, I just feel, oh, I don't know, something wrong with my head. My head is like all puffy and it's just like my brain is swollen. My throat hurts and my stomach, it feels like there is a, a very disturbed lake in my stomach that somebody has just poured some lava into. And now the lava's starting to cool, so some of it's solidifying, but it's also heating up the water. And the lava's got like cyanide in it. It's not good, I feel terrible. But not so terrible that I don't think I can have a pint. And I might be seeing Astra later as well, who is a lady. We'll go with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna go around to hers. Oh, I've got an Astra shop coming between eight and nine p.m. as well. So I have to wait for that first. I might see if she wants to come here. It might make more sense. I don't know. Although she feels crap today as well. Okay, I'm going to go and try and film my shout outs on my start of my Fitzgerald review. I've got my next radio show to review as well. Not review, film. Explore you kind of conquer them, like conquistadors. And I'm currently play watching Let's oh, Play no. Brigands. Yeah, it's made it a little more interesting to me. Um, and he's playing Illusion of Gaia. I actually know it as Illusion of Time because that's what it was released as in the UK. This is one of my all-time favorite Super Nintendo games. I've actually got, I've got this guy, he's gonna do uh, Illusion of Gaia and, and Secret of Mana, which are two of my favorite SNES games. And then I found somebody else who did um, Final Fantasy IX. So this is literally the point I'm at now and I have no more entertainment left. So all I can 
think of to watch are these Let's Plays. Because I was thinking about replaying the games myself, but I just don't have time to play these days. So that's one way just to enjoy them, I suppose. Hey, Biggie. He's amazed because I'm awake. I've not been feeling very well for the last couple of days. Um, today, I went for a lie down about, I don't know, 10, 11 ish, because I was feeling like death. I didn't really sleep. Didn't sleep last night. At the moment, each time I go to lie down to try to sleep, I just lie there and feel ill. And then that's about it. So I lay down for like six hours, just feeling like crap. Still feel like crap. I'm probably going to go and try and do my walk in a minute because I've got some parcels to drop off anyway. And I still really want to try the pub, but I still feel terrible. So maybe I'll go to the pub and have a lemonade. It kind of defeats the purpose of going to the pub because the reason I want to go to the pub, Big E, is A, I haven't been there for four months. B, there's just nothing quite the same as a freshly poured pint, is there? Oh, uh, anyway, I've finished reading um, The Diamond As Big As The Ritz by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Probably pretty solid four out of five. Um, really enjoyed all the stories in it. The title story itself was fantastic. I'm kind of annoyed because some of my sticky tabs fell out of it. But, um, which means I obviously can't do my full review that I was planning. Or I still can, I'm just going to miss a couple of the things I highlighted. Um, but now I'm reading The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie, which I believe is the first Hercule Poirot novel. And I have a really beautiful facsimile edition as well. I would show you, but my hand is currently very busy scratching a biggie here. So I'm going to crack on with uh, The Mysterious Affair at Styles and watching this Let's Play, etc, etc. Hopefully, as I say, hopefully do my walk in a minute. Um, yeah. That's all I've got for you really, and then back to work I suppose. Oh, and it's been quite a sad day because I've been sitting here. My granddad sent me the eulogy he wants to read at my nan's funeral um, because he's not great with words or whatever, so he doesn't want to read it out. He's dyslexic as well and whatnot. So I've been having a look at it, but it kind of needed quite a heavy rewrite. So I've basically rewritten my granddad's eulogy for my nan, which was really bleak and depressing because I was also doing it at four o'clock in the morning. But that's done. Um, in terms of my other writing stuff, Actually, all up to date with most things. My latest latest edition of Meet, my novel on the factory farm. That's um, all the interiors done now, and that's with Pam, my editor, for the final round of edits. Hopefully, that'll come out later this year. And then um, I've been writing Monsters of Rock, which is my current work in progress. But I'm literally on the last chapter now, on about seventy-two thousand words on this draft. So I probably won't finish that tonight, but within the next few days, I'll finish it. And then. I want to write a story. I haven't actually planned it yet, so my notes for it are to plan it and then I'll write it. But a short story with these, like, the reverse of diet pills. Basically, when I was a kid, my dad apparently always used to say he wished there was a pill you could eat so that you could eat it instead of a meal, like a meal replacement pill, because eating was just a chore. Um, I mean, he has celiac disease as well, but I can kind of relate to that because I have IBS, and so e eating sometimes is just a chore. It's just something you have to do, you know? Um... So I'm going to write this sort of story about this thing where the pill replaces the food and stuff. And then I guess we'll decide what happens after that. Probably some unexpected side effects or something. I don't know. With a lot of my stories, I just start out with this idea and then follow it through to its natural conclusion, you know. God, my eyes look dark. Look how dark my eyes are. I look like I've got a black eye. Yeah, it's getting more and more to this guy. That's something Neil should say. He's one of your best friends, Lance. Uh, 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 uh